What's up, everybody? It's Nars, and in today's fix, Scorns director apologizes for a hostile statement made about the game's delay. Todd Howard confirms Starfield will be taking precedence over Elder Scrolls 6, and the classic Konami code just got its own pop up store in Akihabara. <laughs> CEO of Ebb Software and creative director for Scorn, Lubomir Pekler, has publicly apologized for an update made on the game's delay. On the Kickstarter of the game, Pekler apologized and took full responsibility for a statement that he now admits came across as hostile. In the original post, the team was asked what they were doing since the game's last trailer was released in October of last year. Pekler's response was that there was no big revelation and that the team was focusing on developing a game and nothing more. Pekler went further in articulating that projects like Cyberpunk 2077, which had developers create marketing content for the game, should have been better spent on the development of the game to ensure its launch was successful. He went on to say that the problem with hype content is that baiting people into a game that hasn't been out yet only results in disappointments, frustration in not meeting players' expectation, and distracting the developers from the important task which is making a good game. Heckler goes into detail about further issues the game has endured, including an inexperienced development team. While the statement does take ownership for a number of issues, the response includes various statements and questions throughout that could be interpreted as patronizing. The update then ends with an announcement that the game is being delayed till 2022, and Peckler signs off with, If lack of communication is so bothersome, just ask for a refund and be done with it. It's just a game. You can play it when it's out if you are still interested. Upon reading the update, many Kickstarters have asked for a refund because of the tone of the statement. Some were appalled at the shift in accountability onto the consumers, while others encouraged Peklar of other ways to make updates such as screenshots, concept art, or even interviews with the devs. Regardless, the largely negative response from a number of fans who have been waiting a very long time for the game has sparked Peklar to apologize. Scorn, a grim, surreal first-person shooter, was originally meant to arrive in 2017 before a re-reveal as the Xbox console exclusive saw a target release for fall of 2021. The most recent delay has pushed the game back to an unspecific date in 2022. Next up, Elder Scrolls fans may be waiting another year or three for The Elder Scrolls 6 as director Todd Howard has decided to make Starfield a priority over the next installment. In a wide-ranging interview with IGN Unfiltered covering Skyrim's 10th anniversary, Starfield, and The Elder Scrolls 6, Howard talked about a long list of projects that ended up being pushed back upon the conclusion of Fallout 4 in 2015. Howard lamented how he and his team have been wanting to do something else for a long time, specifically to play in a new universe, stating, if not now, when? It felt like if we didn't do it then, then when could be never. Ultimately, it is Bethesda Game Studio that has the final say, and thankfully, they have effectively decided to put The Elder Scrolls 6 on hold and allow Howard and his team to move forward with Starfield. The success of Elder Scrolls Online and the overall health of the franchise give reason and confidence to focus on Starfield. Both games were announced at E3 in 2018, but while Starfield is targeting a release for late next year, The Elder Scrolls 6 remains in pre-production. On the bright side, Starfield will utilize an updated version of the creation engine that is leaps away from Skyrim, and hopefully we get an Elder Scrolls 6 that will be well worth the wait. Starfield is currently due to release on Xbox Series X, S, and PC on November 11th, 2022. And finally, the classic Konami code has inspired a pop-up shop at the Akihabara container in Tokyo's Akihabara district in celebration of the Konami code 35th anniversary which began on October 28th and continues till November 16th. The infamous combination of button presses that unlocked a variation of specials in Konami games starting from the 1980s is now a pop-up shop that sells various exclusive items based on classic Konami titles such as Gradius, Goemon, Snatcher, and Tokimeki Memorial. Check out the full list of items on the official website, and if you're in Japan during the time, it will be absolutely worth a visit for nostalgia purposes and to cop some items because there are exclusive items that might be worth a bit after the pop-up closes later this year. And that's your Games Fix for today, November 9th. I'm Nars, and now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our coverage of the Halo Infinite campaign deep dive of the Spartan killer, Jaeger Erdomni. Download the IGN app on all your devices, follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, just head on over to IGN.com. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.